Hi folks, this is all the fruit with yet another strawberry video from the beautiful city of Heidelberg. The last two strawberry videos I tried to make basically failed. I couldn't locate the rare musk strawberry and I also failed to find the rare white forest strawberry. Both seem to have gone extinct since the last time I saw them here but this one unfortunately this one is not gonna get extinct soon why do i say unfortunately why am i unhappy for having a nice red strawberry around here well yes it is a strawberry it's not the genus fragaria it's the genus duchesnea closely related genus this this strawberry with the upright pointing with the upwards pointing fruit, the yellow flowers, and those strawberry-like leaves. Around here, there is a, another relative of strawberries, Potentilla. Basically looks like strawberries. The plants look very similar to strawberries, but most species have five or even more leaflets, and the fruit are not edible. But back to the strawberries. So, Duchesnia indica, the Indian strawberry has been cultivated in a couple botanic gardens and other places out of curiosity, but yeah, it was never very popular for, well, mostly two reasons. Firstly, it's completely tasteless. Yeah, those root. By the way, the second reason is that it's supposed to be toxic. So, look at that. Those fruit are completely ripe. Even starting to dry up and shrivel up and now with those completely dry fruit there is a slight hint of sweetness but nothing special the second reason why this was never so popular was yeah it's considered to be poisonous i've tried it a couple times a lot of other people told me that they've tried it i haven't met anyone who got poisoned by this stuff but you never know so be careful with the indian strawberry probably a single fruit will not kill you but eating a couple handful is not recommended well so this strawberry was cultivated in a few botanic gardens i saw it for the first time around 1986 in a park in the small town of Meisenheim here in Germany. It wasn't a botanic garden or something else, it was just a small park in a boarding school, but that's where I found it. And it wasn't cultivated there, it was already more or less feral, growing under a tree. Nobody taking care of it. Then I didn't see it for a couple years. Then I saw it in the Botanic Garden of Heidelberg around 1991-1992. Where it was planted together with the normal strawberries. And then each year I saw it taking over more and more space. And basically yeah, displacing the normal European forest strawberries, Fragaria vesca. First I saw this in the botanic garden in Heidelberg, then in other gardens in Heidelberg where people have planted wild strawberries. This stuff, Duhesnia indica, started showing up and displacing the wild strawberries from the gardens. Well, we thought at least we can still pick them in the forests. And then around the year 2000, I started seeing that wherever the forestry department uh, did work in the forest, wherever they entered with their heavy trucks and bulldozers and stuff and pulled out trees. This stuff started showing up and started displacing the normal local strawberry. Yeah, after 2000, slowly the first some scientists and then even the local authorities here in parts of southwestern Germany started getting pretty scared. I'm scared too. I love wild forest strawberries and this tasteless, possibly poisonous stuff is displacing them everywhere, even in the forest. When I see it on my farm, I rip it out, but I think it's a lost battle. 
there is more and more all the time. The birds are spreading it, other animals are spreading it, and then the fruit also spread on the tires of forest vehicles and other stuff. So I think, I'm afraid, the strawberry is here to stay. But folks, if you are from an area where there is not much of this Indian strawberry, if you see the first strawberries with this very conspicuous calyx here, look, very conspicuous double calyx with yellow flowers and upward facing fruit. Kill it, exterminate it, get rid of it. It will take over every square inch that's occupied by your wild forest strawberries. It's gonna displace them and you'll end up with this stuff which looks quite nice but is pretty tasteless and possibly mildly poisonous. Well folks, uh, this was the history, the local original history of the Indian strawberry, an invasive plant which is displacing a useful and nice uh, indigenous species. Stay tuned for a lot more straw video, a, a lot more strawberry videos from Heidelberg and surroundings. Kill the noxious Indian strawberry. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel and leave some nice comments.